everybody, it is Donella. Today is Monday, June. Oh, what day is it? Okay, Monday, June 17th. I should know. Um, I'm sitting in front of the pool on my way in. It is 7 17. Um, tomorrow. I have my appointment to go and get fitted for my CPAP. So, Miss Weed has to go. This is the last day for Miss Weed. <sighs> yeah, yeah. She's big and frizzy and beautiful and all that. But we have to say goodbye tonight. Maybe tomorrow. Because you know it's not till tomorrow night. So, anyway, yeah. CPAP fitting tomorrow. Um, really quickly before I get into anything that involves cussing, because I know she doesn't like cussing, I want to send a shout out to Kiana, Big Cuz 52. Um, I was up really late last night and uh, noticed that she had put up a video saying that she would be checking into the hospital because she was having some uh, health issues. And she stressed, and I am stressing that her health issues have nothing to do with her um, gastric sleeve procedure or anything to do with where her gastric sleeve procedure was done. Um, these health issues are totally uh, unrelated to surgery or the location of the surgery or any of that. So, um, hurry up, Keon, to get in, get out, take care of whatever you have to take care of, and come on out, you know. My prayers are with you, and I'm sure quite a lot of people are. And another thing, kind of off topic, but kind of not. This woman posts a video about her being ill enough to need to be checked into the hospital and she had when I looked at it like eight people dislike it and um I don't usually notice things like that but for like the past few videos and some other videos I've watched of her and other people they tend to get the same exact number of dislikes. That's crazy. Whether it be good news, bad news, indifferent, whatever. They just click on it to dislike it and that's crazy. But anyway. Um, what else? I'm going to need to invest in Rosetta Stone or I know I have a lot of um, bilingual subscribers. I need to know how to say kiss my ass in as many different languages as possible. So, to any of my bilingual people, leave it down in the comment section. Kiss my ass in whatever language it is. You can put, you know, in uh, captions what language it is, but it don't matter. Just tell me how to say it, and we can work it out. Um happiness. It seems like when people see that you are happy, that you are being productive with your life, they don't like it. They want to do whatever they can do or think they can do to try to ruin it. And I'm here to say, I worked entirely too hard to get to the place where I am now. I have further to go, but I'm definitely not going back. And anybody else who has, I call them um, emotional vampires. I read a book. I got to look up the name of the book. But um, anyone who has emotional vampires who just literally want to suck all of your positive energy and happiness and love and any, you know, positive emotion. 
it makes them feel better to suck all of that out of you. Um, make a plan and find a way to get them out of your life. Because me personally, my block list is long and strong and it continues to get longer. If you call in from a number that I don't want to be called from, you'll be blocked. Each and every time. I don't have time for foolishness. I don't have the patience for foolishness. I have too many good things going on in my life to be bothered with negativity and foolishness. Y'all, people will try it. People will definitely try it. But we got to work through it. We got to work through it and let them know they're not going to win. Oh, on another positive note, I did my nails. Well, I got them done. I took in the colors that um, I showed y'all, and I put the rhinestones on myself. So, anyway, I wanted to end it on a nice and cute sparkly note. Got the purple cup today. See y'all later. Have a good day. It's the beginning of the week. Let's not go to jail, y'all. Be positive or be quiet. Peace out, girl scouts. Bye.